all right welcome back for another video today we're going to talk about uh, PKT mining and uh, how to avoid picking up the three thousand uh, dollar PKT pal you can do this on uh, a bare metal the old PC you got sitting around uh, I wouldn't suggest a Raspberry Pi for this because there's a uh, quite a good demand on CPU power so we're going to set it up on a Proxmox virtual machine not uh, a big need for hard drive space but uh, you do want to give it as much uh, CPU as you as you can and in this example we're going to give it uh, 16 virtual cores and 16 gigs of memory now this is running on a dual Xeon uh, I think I've selected an R720 um, node from my cluster here just for a demonstration you can uh, like I said you can do a uh, bare metal install directly to uh, you know a uh, Linux distribution I believe they do also have a Windows uh, miner that's built into the wallet you will need some uh, pretty powerful uh, CPU and a pretty good internet connection the better the internet connection and the better the CPU the better the earnings will be the, uh, the virtual machine I use that does mine is uh, 16 threads just like this machine and I get uh, recently it's been down to around 25 30 uh, coins a day but uh, last month and month four we would see upwards of 70 to 80 definitely seen an increase in uh, in mining activity and my internet uh, upload speeds aren't the best so you may see uh, better results than that uh, right now we're just going through installing uh, Ubuntu server 20.04 that's kind of my preferred Linux distribution just the uh, one I'm most uh, most knowledgeable about and did most work with there is other options obviously for uh, for Linux distributions and again you know the best uh, the best CPU the best network you can throw at it so here we've got the uh, distribution installed we're going to go over to uh, pkt.world and this is where we will download the wallet showing this here on a Windows virtual machine just for ease of use there is obviously a uh, command line wallet as well that you can use uh, inside your Linux distribution this just looks better on uh, on screen grabs so once you have the uh, the wallet downloaded just going to get it installed and it will take a little while to sync but you'll get your addresses just the portion that we need to to start mining yeah, it's just a receiving address again this is just like a, a lot of wallets you'll set yourself a passphrase and it will provide you a mnemonic which you obviously want to write down and to keep in a safe place because that will be the only way to access uh, if you lose this wallet so here we're just going to set a passphrase um, and then it's going to give us a pop-up which typically what I will do is you know snip it write it down later uh, print it out put it somewhere safe however you choose to keep it uh, just keep it safe don't lose it so we'll, we'll uh, copy and paste our address over into notepad once we uh, get through the setup here of collecting our mnemonic saving it and again like I said I'll just use the snipping tool here get a screen grab and write it down later
or print it out. So once we have that and the wallet's fully loaded, it's going to give us our address. There's our address. And we'll copy that to the clipboard and uh, paste it over. This is what we'll need to uh, tell the miner where we're going to be mining to. All right, from here we're going to use uh, PuTTY to SSH into the Ubuntu. I prefer to do it that way since I can um, cut and paste. We're just going to grab the uh, the miner file from the GitHub, go back to PKT World, click on mining, and then go to the GitHub and grab the address. Once you got that address copied over, you're going to uh, we'll go back into our PuTTY session. And we'll make ourselves a directory for our miner and then we'll download the miner from github we're just going to use wget to uh, grab it and place it inside the uh, mining directory that we're going to create so i just to make a directory here called pkt miner we'll go into there we're going to get the uh, file from github from there we just need to make the uh, the file executable. I like to um, copy it over to a shorter name too just for ease of access. Alright, now we got the miner itself and we've got it set to executable and we can uh, check it here. Now we're going to go and we're going to set up uh, the pools. This is in the documentation here but basically you're going to run the miner we're going to announce ourselves as this address that uh, we got from the wallet. And you can choose as many pools as you like. In this example here, we've got the four top pools that we're going to use. Uh, you basically just uh, run the command from there. And it's going to start doing its thing. Uh, it's going to discover blocks. I know I have seen that there is quite a few errors. And it may be that my upload speeds are just not uh, as adequate. Uh, for this for this mining but you can see we're uh, sending data we're grabbing data and then here's a couple of those errors you can see we can have a problem uploading there has been uh, not a lot of consistency with these pools so every once in a while I'll go back to PKT world check the documents for the most active pools and adjust your miner to uh, to mine to those pools but you can see here we're 100% we're across the board and uh, we're going to go back to the PKT World website where the Explorer is and uh, we're going to enter in our address. I have it copied here the uh, link because this is the link to the uh, the other miner. So this is going to give you the information about your miner and the different pools that you're mining to, uh, what earnings you have what the uh, bandwidth taken was um, you can check for abnormalities and so on shows you all the blocks that you're a part of and, and what you earned from each block and uh, you, like I said just make sure that you're updating the pools every once in a while you can see that uh, some pools have uh, significantly more blocks than others and that's all there is to it uh, three thousand dollar miner deployed on a Proxmox cluster. Appreciate you watching. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Y'all have a good night.